I think the interest, I think there's a lot of interest going on right now with the IC title. And just look at the way each week on the show, whether it's an R Truth or a Dolph Ziggler or a Dean Ambrose or a Eric or a Luke Harper comes in and takes away the IC title. So I think to that point, I think it's very interesting what WWE is doing. They're showing that all of these stars have the potential to be IC champions if they haven't already been. Yeah. And again, at the end of the day, my wild card, and I think the thing that could do best for the IC title is the guy that says yes, yes, yes. If Daniel Bryan is inserted in this, I feel that they have to get another big name in there like a Sheamus to kind of give some interest, some intrigue, and they're hyping Sheamus' return, so when is it going to happen? I'm not sure if they want to have six people, seven people, eight people. Here's some facts. I compared the Money in the Bank ladder match to this WrestleMania Intercontinental Championship match because you have ha it's very similar, obviously, just a different prize at the top of the ladder. There have been one match of a Money in the Bank that had ten opponents. Awful. Six of them had eight competitors. I don't like that. You need to go with six or seven so you don't get oversaturated in the ring with talent. You're going to have one big spot after the next, and whether you get the wow factor or not, that's to be noticed. You're gonna, there's so much you can do uh, still with a ladder, even though you feel like we've seen it all. 